Hello everyone, I'm James Jerrell, also known as way too many names to remember anymore. Today is going to be a little bit different than the normal videos I post because I need to address a situation with one of my former friends. I used to be associated with a person called Arya Fane. In her series, I played Vivian, Twyla, along with a few other characters I can't remember the names of currently. I think one of them was my own OC. If I'm forgetting anyone, I'll put them right here. Anyway, besides that, I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows my standpoint on the situation. This is mostly going to be me just speaking off of my mind while doing this and giving a little bit of a rundown with my history of Arya Fane. Your trigger warning is here right now if you're uncomfortable with the topics of pedophilia, racism, homophobia, or anything of that, please click off now. This is your one warning, and I will not warn you again. If you choose to stay, it's on you. So, I first met Arya Fane when I was around 10 years old. You may ask yourself, why was I on the internet at 10? Well, I was a weird kid, and a handful of my friends had invited me on to Discord. These friends are probably going to be watching the video, so hi! Um... So, I ended up meeting her through one of my friends. This friend will not be named, but he knows who he is. Still talk to him to this day, but it's easier just to not mention him by name. He introduced me to one of my other friends who I talked to, and I eventually met Arya Fane. She was under the impression when we first met that I was of around 14 years old. And I don't know what gave her that impression, as I had straight up told her one time, yeah, I'm not 14. She thought I was, and I was somehow in her cast. After a point in time, you know, my Discord got deleted because I was 10 years old. I am no longer, I promise, but just for the sake of the story, I have to mention it. Continuing from there, I eventually reconnected with her over another person's series, and was invited into Kirito the Wolf Fox's cast. Eventually from there, I managed to get into Arya's cast. Or, sorry, I have this... Yeah, I eventually was in Arya's cast. And then one of the people in that cast, Pandy351, was in that cast. In that cast. And I knew of Pandy... And my friends had told me about her, and I was like, oh, she's pretty chill. So eventually, I was in Pandy's cast. And so, that is the history of me and Arya's relationship so far. Now, here's where it gets a little muddy. I knew Arya, like, she watched me grow up, basically. So it is a weird relationship the two of us really had. And one thing that was really pressured on to me was with a specific character I played for Arya, which was, God, I can see him, uh, it's Vivian. It was this bully character. And now I have the personality trait where it's like, yeah, I can play a mean character like that. Can do that. If needed, I will. But the thing that made me uncomfortable with playing her was the fact that Arya wanted me to basically flirt with everyone. And as a child, it was uncomfortable because I was flirting with adults. The only person I was ever comfortable with it was with Microwave because he explicitly asked me, Hey, JMG, do you want to do this? This would be fun. And he also told me I didn't have to. And that it was just an idea he had, and if I wanted to, we could. Uh, I ended up going with it, because I thought it would be a cool idea. But Arya wanted me to flirt with other characters, which made me uncomfortable. And as the person I am, I don't know how to tell someone I'm not comfortable with doing something. So I went with it anyway. And... I really didn't know what to do in a lot of this 
because I had known Aria for so long to the point where it was, if I left, I felt like I was losing one of my friends. Like, one of my, like, closest friends. And it's kind of hard to say because one of the main things Arya did to me myself, she would talk about sexual things with me. Um, and by that I mean one time specifically on her Christmas special episode, I don't think was ever uploaded, I asked her what she meant by something and she said to me, quote, Arya and Drake are going to, you know, and have a kid. It was a weird experience to hear someone say to you when you're, like, literally a child. Like, I wasn't even old enough. Like, I'm not, I can say this much, I am not 17 or anything like that. I'm not even the legal age of consent in Canada. So, hearing that said to me kind of put me on edge, but I just went with it anyway. We had a really... I guess, odd relationship, I could, you could say. But I never saw anything really wrong with it because of the fact that she was my friend and she'd known me for so long. My main issue with playing my one character, Twyla, was when I redesigned the character, she had a very um, obsessive thing over Twyla and Twyla was made on a whim, completely just because I wanted to play a character and there was no characters I could play. That's why she was made in the first place. So having someone kind of get obsessed with a character that you play as a child, I was pretty uncomfortable, as you would imagine. But I... I never said anything because I thought to myself well all my friends are here might as well not say anything and I want to just apologize to one of my friends um pandy351 pc I know you're probably gonna be watching this when I upload it I am so sorry a bunch of this I haven't told you before I just I didn't know how to it is one thing in my mind with Arya Fain it was one thing with me for her to tell me that she liked the design of Twyla, and it was another thing to outright ask me if she could buy Twyla from me. And as a child who has no concept of money, I was like, I used to get paid when I was around 11 years old. God, I was paid like $15 for a poorly drawn thumbnail. I had no concept of what money was worth or anything. So I didn't end up selling Twyla to her, but she ended up getting another OC, which I have since gotten back. It's now in my toy house. Love that OC to death. It's just... Arya really made me uncomfortable at times, but I didn't know how to tell anybody. Quite literally, there would be... My mom, my own mother, she one time... When this first started... She actually asked me if I was okay, and I said to her, I don't know, and I tried to explain the situation to her. I even went to my school counselor about this. My school counselor was like, at least you're out of the situation, you're fine now. Um, I wasn't fine at the time, I just needed to tell somebody, and that was the only person I thought I could trust who was an adult in my life. From there, there was... I remember Arya always, oh, sorry, I just bumped my microphone, so sorry about that. Arya always kind of tried to keep me in things for some reason. Like, I was the one person who, I guess you could say everybody knew, but no one really talked to a lot of the time. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but I just... She made me uncomfortable with a lot of things, but because I'd known her for so long, I just thought to myself, well, this is normal. Because when you grow up in an abusive household like I did, you don't have a perception of what is right and what is wrong. You just think, oh yeah, this is normal. 
this is what I saw when I grew up. And you go with that. So constantly seeing people fight in this situation really hurt me in my own way. Um, I feel almost like I shouldn't be saying some of this stuff because if I do, I'll almost like get attacked for it. But it's just... Arya would come to me with a lot of things when there was issues as well. And by that I mean like, oh, I would ask her, you doing okay? And then we would call. So it was like, I always accidentally knew what was happening when anything went on. And as a lot of people know me, I am the most oblivious person you will ever meet. So if I know about a situation, you know it's bad. My dogs are barking. I'm so sorry. It just... It's one of those things where... I had known her for so long to the point where I was confused. And thought that I was... Completely fine. When I was extremely uncomfortable. I'm actually going to pause right here with my recording. One second. Sorry, my brother came home there. It just... It's one of those things where you don't expect somebody you've known for so long to turn out to be this horrible person, because specifically with one character I played, Twyla, though she was like a background character, I was looking back on it, that character was constantly like beat up by other characters and constantly sort of scrutinized and kind of things, and it... It made me uncomfortable, but I didn't know how to say it. Again, it's mostly my fault with a lot of these things where I didn't say things. But it's also the fact of the matter that I was the child in this situation. I... There's not much I could have done differently to have done things better. But it was just that I didn't feel like that... I had a right to say anything. For all that I had fun in Arya's cast, I would never go back. I would never do that again because the amount of emotional and mental strain it put on me is something no one my age should deal with. Like, I know a lot of people have it worse out there than me. A lot of people have dealt with a lot more than I have. But I would never go back and do that again. Because the amount of mental anguish that I was in half of the time was horrible. It, It's like when you're... You know those things when somebody's... When the dog's on a treadmill and it's running after whatever? That's how I felt. It felt like a game of cat and mouse. But... There's no exit out. There's no mouse hole. And I constantly had to do what was expected of me. Otherwise, I was seen as this bad person. This bad friend. Because I'd already seen what Arya would do to people who had not agreed with her. I'd seen firsthand what she'd done to those people. She'd cut them out and never speak to them again. I'd seen that, so I knew what would happen to me if I did something wrong. And so I didn't say anything. And it's, I know I should have because the actions that, the things that happened in that cast weren't okay, but it also wasn't okay that I didn't say anything. I... I really do apologize to my friends who might be offended or upset by this whole video here, but it's, I need people to know about my side of the story and that I don't, I don't respect what Arya Fane did and I don't agree with what she did at all. I... I personally knew her, like, for years. I'd known her for a long time. 
so it was just so sudden. I originally wanted to stay neutral on this all until the pedophilia came out, and I just... I really do apologize to any of my friends who I hurt in this situation and the actions that I made. That's all for me. I... I'm not sure how I'm going to end this, but I'll catch you in the next one.